Hi, I'm Jason Higgins with OP5, and welcome to OP5 Monitor. This is the first video of our series, Taking Control of Your IT Environment. And you are now just steps away from having a truly scalable and unified monitoring solution. In this video, I will be guiding you through the installation of the OP5 software bundle for Linux. Now, if by chance you're looking for one of the other videos in this series, please follow the link provided below. So with that said, let's jump right in and get started, shall we? First things first, you should have already downloaded the software bundle for OP5 Monitor, and the next step is to get it installed. To install the software package, you will need a running CentOS or Red Hat version 6, which is not included in this installation. Look for CentOS and Red Hat version 7 to be supported in a future release. So now, let us unpack the tar file. Next, we will simply go to the new folder's location and run the following terminal command. For more detailed steps for installing the software, please follow the link below. Lastly, obtain the OP5 server's IP address. Once installed, we can access OP5's main interface using any web browser. For this instance, we're going to use Chrome. Let us open our web browser and navigate to the network's OP5 IP, or hostname. Now, if by chance you see a warning when first launching the web GUI, don't panic. This warning is not an issue with the OP5 application, as OP5 Monitor ships by default with self-signed SSL certificates, a common practice when deploying any new web service that is secured via SSL. The warning page can safely be skipped using your browser by adding an exception. For Chrome, click Advanced, then proceed to the site. Next, you'll see the OP5 portal page. In the bottom left corner is the OP5 Monitor button. Simply click, and then we will enter the username and password. Finally, before we can start adding equipment, you may require a particular agent to be installed on the device, such as either NS Client++ for Windows or NRPE for Linux. Once you download NS Client++, just run the setup wizard and select the OP5 version. Remember to allow your server to query the agent. While NRPE is done with the slash etc slash nrpe.conf under the Allowed Host options. Please note that OP5 already contains some pre-configured items within RPE. You can also use SNMP for both Windows and Linux environments. Enabling SNMP on your equipment may differ from device to device, so please refer to your device's manual for assistance. The required agents can be downloaded from the OP5 website's agent page. And that's it! You have successfully installed OP5 Monitor and just completed the first step in taking control of your IT environment. In the next video of our series, I will be guiding you through the initial configuration of OP5 Monitor and adding a device. Now, remember, if you need any additional assistance or have any additional questions, you can always reach us by email at cr at op5.com or go to op5.com and reach us directly there. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you again soon.